Pep, sorry, just back on Sir Bobby Charlton. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you've met Sir Bobby a few times before um, in your career. Could you give us your memories of those occasions where you've met Sir Bobby Charlton? Well, I don't know if I... Maybe the final of the Champions League yeah. when we were playing in Barcelona that maybe I say hi to him, but we didn't make never a chat, proper chat, you know, to know exactly. And and these kind of things, like we have here Mike Somerville when he was calling Bell and today, the, you know, the... How nice was the you know the stadium, what what the tribute and our another, another legend that we have. So always is like honestly I'm a little like shy. I am a little bit. I think like we in Italy know the big players in Spain. The big players have done always. I think football has to take care of these kind of people. I think this in this country English is the best, the best by far. Where would you say Sir Bobby Charlton ranks in terms of a player? Obviously he's a legend for Manchester United in England, but on on a worldwide scale, I mean. In terms of his status, one one of the true greats of all time. Yeah, he won a, the. You won was uh, he. He won a champion. A part of the prizes at the end, the titles is, so of course, won a lot of titles. Sir Bobby Charlton with Man United, but this, when you have a, this present, this figure that represent United for a long, long time, for since retired, it's because it's beyond the titles, it's beyond. Uh, and and. And this is where it is. I'm so sorry for the last, and yeah, always the thoughts for the family, all the time. Yeah. Hey, Pep. Um, just on the team selection today, what was the thinking behind playing Ortega in goal? Uh, is that just to do? No, just for the fact that the, the 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 travel from from Eddie from Brazil for a long time. Of course, it happened many times and played, but he played two games there. And arrive, and the first day when I arrived was so so tired, and and you know sometimes I like to n normally Ortega play Carabao Cup, now we are at the Fair Cup, and some games, and sometimes I like even for it is good, you know, to rest a little bit, fresh your mind. Sometimes other players are tired, you know, a keeper can be tired too, and and with the with the ball is really really good, his composer, his patient, the quality of the pass. So that's why that's why we decide we decide for him. Why why was that? Why is Edison's situation different to Alvarez? Because Alvarez played Wednesday night as well. Yeah. In South America, he's, he's younger. <laughs> but like mentally, is he sort of? No, I saw him. I saw him as sharp. You know, they arrived in the other one. I saw him sharp, but with him, so so I'm. I feel fresher than 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 I would say the other time. Like him for international for it, the second game. He played 45, 50 minutes. Uh, was being replaced for a player that is not bad, like Leo Messi. So, so and that's why I arrived a little bit like, uh, yeah, more. And Eddie played 90, 90, you know, and after they won, also when you won Argentina, your mood always better. Brazil didn't happen. And these kind of things we detail. We spoke with Chavik at the end. They, in the keepers, I don't much involve. Always the final decision. Most of the times, it's okay. It's my responsibility, but always I listen a lot. Chavi Mancisidor for the keeper with Juanma, and we decide for that. Last one, Rob, please, guys. I bet. Um, Erling Haaland obviously had such a good season last year. It was very rare that he went through a couple of games without scoring. He went through a, a couple of games recently where he hasn't scored. He scored today. When he isn't scoring, is he the same player on the training pitch? Is he the same? play when you're picking for matches? Is, is there anything that you have to say to him? It, the expectations of score no. goals must be quite heavy sometimes. Yeah, expectations are high, but he's, uh, yeah, he handled it really well. So he, he knows he would have to score even more goals in that group of stage, nine, nine games I think we have played so far. Yeah? Nine Premier League, yeah. No Premier League games. We have to score more goals than last season. So it's a... Uh, this type of, you know, the travel had a lot of influence in all of us, and all of us, me included, you know. So, and yeah, we need to be there, close, close there in the month running on and and arriving the final decision moments, you know, the end of the season being there close to the our opponents and try it and try it again. So, I said many times lately, so no one has won four in a row, never ever. So that means how difficult it is, but now in that moment is to be there, especially in the Champions League qualify for the next round in this period that you can be out. And now we have two games, like we can give first one and after second leg, second game against Young Boys at home, that we can be there. And after just focusing the Premier League, Premier League, Premier League, 
And uh, yeah, that is the target. So that's why today was really important. First, because I saw the team against this team, because I know exactly what happened the opens when they play against them. So the possibility to you know to to make a good, really, really good m m minutes. And of course, you know we cannot deny. And after two defeats in a row, break that position is, is it was really important. Thank you, okay, guys. Thank you.